Good morning and welcome to Bowtie Life, where we talk mostly about life in the garden. Today, we're doing another task that I've been promising for a while, and I'm finally getting down to it. We are rebuilding the strawberry patch. And I'm excited. Look at that beauty. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So I say rebuilding. I don't know how far I'm gonna get in this round, but I am gonna get started. And uh, uh, there's a lot involved is the problem. Um, this, these were stepping stones from the way I used to have it, and they weren't, wasn't a great arrangement. First time I ever had a strawberry patch though, wasn't it? But look at that little strawberry plant right there. Ooh. Question is, can I save it? I don't know that I can. There we go. I'm gonna have to be pulling out a lot of dollar weed root from these because we're completely infested with dollar weed. I do not know if that's gonna make it or not, but there it is. I got a glass tray here with uh, water in it. Not a lot, just enough to keep the roots moist. So, the goal here is, in fact, uh, look in the top right corner of your screen, you can see there's a wooden stake in the ground. This side of that wooden stake is gonna be a one foot wide path. It's gonna be at this level. The other stake is right below the camera right there. But uh, what I am hoping to do is to make three slightly raised beds of weed fabric covered rows with holes in it for just strawberry plants to grow. This is kind of like how they do it in professional strawberry raising outdoors. So basically what I need to do, I'm gonna start at the other end on this middle row and I need to clear all the strawberries out and then I'll be putting them into that, start filling in down at that end. We're gonna give all these plants plenty of room to grow so that they can have optimal opportunities to develop their strawberries this year. Uh, there's a lot of plants in here, a lot. Uh, in fact, there's a little bunch right here. And I'm using my hori hori here to pull them out. And I'm trying to get as much of the dirt with it as I can. in an effort to create as little trauma to the plants as possible. So, well, there's one totally traumatized plant. That's dead. Oh, got it. There are two crowns right here. Wonder if I can separate those. Oh, my. These things are falling apart. So there's a really good crown, plenty of root. There's a crown with some root. I've never done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. So what you need to do is be sure to subscribe because we're gonna be, we start off our monthly garden tours with this bed right here. See if I totally kill it or not. This is uh, January of 2024. This might still be good. And um, so I'm doing about a four foot wide row starting here to here. So I got a lot of strawberries here to clear out. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and get my row started so that uh, 
I have more room in my little tray. Here we go. It is a windy day today. We're about to get some storm, so I'm trying to get this as far as I can before the storm starts. So this is the stake you saw on the top right corner. That's the one that was right underneath the camera. I've left the tripod exactly where the camera was. And I've put in flags to delineate the four foot wide bed that I'm gonna be putting in here. And I wanna raise it up. I'd love to raise it a foot. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be more like half a foot. I don't know. We'll have to see what we get out of it. But uh, yeah, so I'm about to fill in this area with our compost we've just gotten and from this pile right here, which is our zombie wood chip pile. I call it the zombie wood chip pile because it has not died yet. But uh, yeah, there's some really dark, well composted material underneath there that I will be mixing in with this uh, horse compost. And we, I just released a recent video that showed all the compost and where it came from. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna be mixing this together along this four foot stretch and then covering it over with some weed fabric. So this is basically what it looks like, being three rows a foot apart in each section. I was hoping for four, I probably could have squeezed it out, but we're just getting started. I'm using this instead of uh, a knife because a knife will cause it to fray and uh, unravel. This stuff kind of cauterizes it and uh, have to put out a little bit of smoldering occasionally, but it's okay. So my strawberries actually look really good. Pulling out some dollar weed here. Trying to keep those roots as intact as possible. Now that one already has blooms on it. I think that is a pink berry, actually. That flower looks a little bit pink. I don't know, maybe. Let the plastic stop melting before you stick your hand in there. See, that's a uh, dollar weed got clover in here and a few other things that we're trying to pull out. There's an old dead strawberry crown. All right. See, that looks pretty healthy. You can even see new growth in the middle there. It looks beautiful. Cold we just had. We got down to 21 degrees a few days ago. Won't bother these. Once the goodies all planted in, I'll be watering them in real good, of course. The water does go through this thing, seeps in, and of course stays in the soil longer because it's not evaporating. It has nowhere to evaporate to. And there we go, start for the day. Uh, I still have a lot of compost to unload, so I gotta get on to that. Probably end up just uh, setting up a tarp over on the other side, north side of the house. And uh, so this is the bed. This is the beginning of the bed. I got 21 plants in there, uh, three rows, seven plants each. It's half of this bed, so there'll be 42 plants in this whole bed back here. Um, and you'll notice how I've got see the little red solo cups over my left shoulder here. Uh, that's another 25 plants ready to go that I went ahead and put in solo cups that I dug up from where this bed is going. So needless to say, I'm going to have plenty of plants. Uh, to pull out. I'll, most of these are my Walmart seed plants. Uh, that's a uh, seed that I pulled off of a organic strawberry from Walmart about four years ago and I have just continued propagating them. Uh, but uh, I know we've got some uh, Ozark Beauty and I'm pretty sure we've got some Pinkberry in here too. But uh, mostly it's the Walmart, uh, Walmart seed strawberries that I planted. Don't know what they are. I suspect they might be Ozark Beauty, but I really don't know. Uh, so anyway, uh, maybe this inspires you to try something. And, and this is a try, folks. This is an experiment. You'll be able to follow along on our monthly garden tours. This is the, in the part one of the three-part monthly garden tour that I've been doing for almost two years at this point. And uh, 
be able to see what happens and uh, how it does and if it produces this spring. So uh, I'm a little bit excited. It's been it's been chilly days uh, for the past uh, uh, couple of weeks. We've had some really chilly days, uh, three days below freezing, and the strawberries don't mind it at all. They are they are good with it. So uh, I'm getting tired and I got to get some couple of errands done anyway so I need to get the rest of this about half the compost unloaded but uh, uh, yeah let's see where am I at here <laughs> for those of you who have subscribed to the channel uh, I you are my heroes I thank you so much I appreciate every subscription uh, I watch for those we are trying to grow our channel to the next level and uh, some of you know what that means when you get to that point we'll be able to do more and uh, the uh, the property we've been doing this uh, that most of these videos are my own logs of what's going on in the garden and this is uh, January 23rd when I started this bed I've got half of one row done Woo! considering I've been talking about this all for a year now uh, I think I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that I'm ready to start the uh, the rest of the uh, row uh, as soon as I can get some more of those strawberries out I want I'd like to get about 50 plants out of this row there's in fact at the end of this row the ground just beyond where that fabric is folded up there's a lot of strawberry that's my biggest concentration though i do have some down here in the front corner uh that i want to use for this front row this is the middle row there will be another shorter row up above here on 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 the right side of what you're seeing here so anyway um we'll see what happens here if you're just stumbling along uh finding our channel then uh, please subscribe and don't miss those monthly garden tours to see how we see if we kill all these plants. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. I it, I put some pretty raw uh, soil underneath there, and uh, we'll just have to see if they take. I did uh, supplement um, this bed because it has a lot of wood chip in it. I did supplement it with nitrogen, uh, quite a bit of it, a, a good dusting of it, uh, and probably. I don't know, four cups? No, not that much. Probably about two cups, two full cups of uh, night of blood meal, uh, and that's pretty readily available. There's a lot of life in there that's going to do any conversions that need to be done. So I have a feeling it's going to be okay. Um, the uh, if you uh, thought this video was at all informational, educational, inspirational, or entertaining, please click that thumbs up. Uh, this, it helps grow the channel and uh, comment below if you have any questions or comments uh, let me know if you've done this before uh, and how it went uh, I'm very curious I'm, 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 I'll admit I'm a little anxious about it so we'll have to see how it goes um, the uh, the last thing here is of course share this video on your social media again it helps grow the channel and it's free stuff this is I'm not asking you to pay anything I'm just free stuff that you can do that helps support the channel and I appreciate everything y'all do so there you go y'all have a blessed day